how to increase PHP memory size in WordPress. Now I'm going to show you a couple of different ways to increase the memory size limit for your website. Let's log into our web hosting account, press on file manager, show hidden files and simply browse into where your WordPress site is residing in on your web server. Let's go in there. Now, here you have a file called wp-config.php. I'm going to show you my local copy because this file has sensitive information. You can safely place these two definitions. Right, so that's one way depending on your setup this is usually to do with memory limit as we can see while you're working on your dashboard right as in wp-config.php it's only smart for you to add these two lines into that file this file here you can right click download it first so you have a backup and then press on edit and then simply add these two lines now, there is another way, and this is usually the safe bet, when increasing PHP memory size for your WordPress site, because it's managed usually by your server. And in the document root folder of your web server, there should be a file called php.ini. It is very important that you actually download this file so you have a backup, because you may have different things and different settings here so let's right click press on edit to see what's going on with that file as you can see i have different things here so depending on your server setup you may end up seeing different things here and whatever you do don't modify anything else apart from including this line i've just highlighted memory underscore limit equals you can set it to 512 megabytes 256 megabytes it's totally up to you okay so this is how you increase the memory size limit and then you simply save changes now let's imagine this scenario let's imagine that you do actually not have that file let me delete that first of all i'll make a backup just in case always make backups let's close this up let's put that file into trash now that's gone let's see if i can visit my wordpress site yes i can no problems now on the document root folder there is no file called php.ini so what i can do now is create a new file call it php.ini and let me just create that file and it should actually be empty here let's edit let's edit that file and here all i need to do is just grab this line paste it in there let's save changes now dot you know php.ini i've just used this definition to increase the php memory size let's close that file so basically if you've got a file called php.ini right click download and backup and then edit it to make sure that it includes this here you can set the size to be something different it's totally up to your setup and if you do not have this file in place then you simply create a new file call it php.ini and then make sure that file has increased memory as a memory limit equals to the megabytes that is needed for your setup 
Yeah, this is especially useful when you're actually uploading perhaps images and some images may be large when you're uploading to your WordPress media library whereby using the method I've just shared with you things will actually run more smooth on you. I thank you very much for learning with me and subscribing to Rank Your YouTube channel. If you've got any questions or comments, simply use the commenting system and I'll talk with you in the next video session.